Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on Area of Shapes. Uh, this is the first of two videos on this topic and in this video we'll cover three different shapes and how to calculate their area. So first off let's start with a rectangle. So if we have a rectangle of length L and width W then the area is just length times width. Uh, and now with 2D shapes, seeing as though there are two dimensions, uh, the units also have two dimensions. So if length and width are in meters, then the units will be meters times meters, which is meters squared. Or if it was centimeters, it'd be centimeters times centimeters, which is centimeters squared. Uh, so in each case, the units are distance squared. So moving on to rule number two, which is the area of a parallelogram. So to calculate the area of a parallelogram, you take the width of the base, let's call it B, uh, and you take the perpendicular height, which we'll call H, and then the area is just the base times the perpendicular height. Uh, and that's all there is. And again, the units will be either meter squared, centimeter squared, etc. depends on what the units of B and H are. So the third rule that we'll see in this video uh, is the area of a trapezium. Now a trapezium has two parallel sides and uh, we'll call them A and B and let's call the perpendicular height H as before and so the formula for the area of a trapezium is area equals half A plus B times H. Uh, now what does this exactly break down to? Uh, well this is kind of like the average of the two parallel sides times by the height. Once again, the units meter squared, centimeter squared, etc., depending on what the units of A, B, and H are. So, if we have a look at an example now, uh, the shape below is a trapezium with a perpendicular height of 4 millimeters. Calculate the area of the trapezium. Uh, so, let's just write the formula for the area of the trapezium up here again, and that's half A plus B times H. Uh, so what's A, what's B and what's H? Uh, well, A and B are the two parallel sides and H is the perpendicular height. Um, so if we plug all these values in, let's just abbreviate area to A, and then we have a half, lots of 8 plus 12.5 times 4. And then this simplifies to a half times 20.5 times 4 and that is equal to 41 millimetres squared. So our units are millimetres squared uh, because A, B and H are all given in millimetres. So if you'd like to get more practice with questions about the areas of shapes, uh, we do have an online exam available. It's available through our revision platform. Uh, here you'll find plenty of questions, uh, a range of different question types, uh, so you get plenty of practice. You get instant feedback on each and every question, so this will allow you to keep track of the areas that you need to improve on. Uh, if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to take the exam, then you can click the link below. It'll take you straight there.